Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the changes for Minecraft 1.21. All of the new features, we're going to be going over all the new new stuff um, that it was added into the game. It's actually a lot, like even everything you see here is not everything because there's a lot of under the hood stuff that... Uh, that I'm probably not going to even have to... I, mean, I don't even have the time to go over every single detail that happens. But, um, yeah, so first thing, um, we have the... Well, where should we start? Because um, we'll start with probably the, the biggest thing, because this is where the trial chambers. So you need to, um, to get find a trial chamber. You need to look at a map. And uh, you can get one of these maps by going to a cartographer and you can just, you know, go by the, the trial explorer map and it will uh, it'll bring you here. You can also just randomly run into these if you really are lucky. Um, so, yeah, uh, I marked this spot to um, be able. Oh, that was the wrong button. Um, oh, nope, not that. One. And there we go. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, so this is the the trial chambers. They're, they spawn underground, and they will, when you get close to them, I'm in creative mode, so it's not going to, um, but they will spawn all a bunch of different mobs, and they got traps, and they got, like, this is a challenge structure and it's got quite a bit of loot here um we'll go over i don't know why this chest is empty maybe this is to kind of lead you in here uh, but i love the way that these are set up and i haven't really explored them too too much but there's several different rooms and they can combine in all sorts of ways and ways that I'm not even like look at all this loot in here um but I'm not even gonna like I'll let you explore these for yourselves and if you want to know exactly how all the rooms are laid out then you can go look that up but this is kind of what the structure will be there's a bunch of corridors um with a bunch of the new trial spawners and uh trial vaults um Lots of chests in here with uh, different kinds of loot. There's a bunch of pots. And I think if you break these, yeah, they got stuff in them. So, uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, one of the new new items there. Um, so, yeah, that's... I hit the wrong thing again. Okay, my... Um, so that is going to be really cool challenge to try and do and uh yeah new structure um i think it's very interesting it's i think it's probably the most interactive structure in the game yeah because like it's it, i don't i can't think of anything where you would go and it has purpose of going back there because you can do it multiple times you don't have to it's not just like oh i found this one thing and you do it once and then you're good and then you gotta go find another one. So you can keep doing that. So these uh, these chambers have lots of the new blocks here. So we got the chiseled, uh, yeah, the chiseled copper in all the states and it's even got the wax forms, which I'm using here so that it doesn't change. Um, and you just craft these with any copper slabs it doesn't have to be cut copper but any copper slabs will create you a chiseled copper um, we also got the copper bulbs which uh, are nice because you can uh, you toggle them you don't have to constantly power them and then you can just uh yeah it's a nice little feature and they get dim the more oxidized it is um this is how you craft them you get four of them for one of these um pretty interesting i haven't don't that there's not very many things that use a blaze rod the only other thing i can think of is a brewing stand so that's 
pretty cool. Another use there. We got copper doors in all their variants and copper trap doors in all their variants. Um, and you get, you craft them just like you would a door and just like you would a trap door and you get your corresponding stuff out of them. And then we got copper grates. Again, more of this. That's how you craft them. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Cool new blocks. You'll find these a lot in the, the chambers and everything. And, uh, yeah. Uh, then we got a bunch of the new tough blocks. Um, tough was, uh, has been in the game for uh, since the uh, Caves and Cliffs update. I forgot that, that it's that block. And uh, it's got a bunch of new variants. It's got like polished, like uh, it's got chiseled. Uh, it's got stairs and slabs and walls. And it's got polished and it's got bricks. And they're all really nice. And you can access all of these. Through the stone cutter, which I really like. And I don't actually think you can craft. I don't think they have crafting recipes. I mean, the stairs and slabs probably do. But for all the variants, I, from what I can tell, only uses the, the stone cutter. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then this one, next one's pretty cool. Um, it's the auto crafter. Um, or just the crafter. Um, which activates i don't know why i put the button away but uh it is a redstone device that uh you can power on and on you can see the lights and you can set a bunch of different recipes here and have it um uh, dispense craft once it's supplied to it with the redstone signal and that's how you craft it this is a huge game changer because uh you don't you can make farms that just craft things for you. Um, and you can have like storages that like comp compress things down. And uh, this is a really useful block. Tons of people have already done quite a lot with it. And I'm sure more and more people are going to even make more crazy stuff with this. Um, so yeah. Uh, next, we got the stuff that you probably saw a lot in the structure over there. Uh, we got the trial spawner and the trial vault. And then this is a uh, heavy core, which you can get. Um, it is a placeable thing, but it doesn't do, do anything when you place it down. It's just a decoration kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, but it's got one use that... Uh, is pretty cool that we'll get here in a minute so uh and then you got your your keys that you get to open the vault here and depending on which key uh you use will give you different kinds of loot there so um yeah so for the uh there's two different kinds uh of these things so the and it's not that you find different versions of them, but it's that you there's the normal version and then there's the ominous version. So if you have a bad omen and you go into this, it makes it harder. And not only does it make it harder, but it um, it gives you different types of loot and more loot. So um, I was going to put all of like the percentages of how you get all these items, but the regular one. Um, this is what you get from defeating everything from one of these spawners. Uh, it's n n not a lot of stuff, but it's still like, it's got some pretty good loot. You get the, get the regular key. And then if you use that key, you can get all of this stuff on the vault. Um, and again, I was going to put, you know, the rates of everything, but there was just so much I didn't. Um, you guys can just look that all up on your own. You can see there's new items in here, such as like the uh, banner pattern, the Guster banner pattern, uh, the bolt armor trim, uh, wind charge, so do a music disc. Uh, we're going to get all of that later. I have a couple different enchanted books because it does, you can get multiple books from this. Um, and then the ominous bottle, which I think... I don't know if it's new in here or if this was added 
um, in 1.20.6, but I put it here anyway. So, uh, and then for the ominous, so you actually need the ominous bottle to get the ominous uh, versions of these. And so when you defeat a ominous trial spawner, it'll drop this along, so it can drop the ominous trial key, which is what you use on the vault to get the ominous loot from it. Uh, and then, so it's, it's pretty similar. It's got a couple different items. Uh, and then you get all of this loot uh, from there. And one of them is the heavy core. So that's how you get the heavy core, another music disc, Got a bunch of enchanted books that you could probably you could find, and uh, the flow banner pattern and the flow armor train as well. Um, yeah, and so just a lot of loot that you can find here. Um, those banner patterns are here. Uh, we got what I forget which one is which, but. Uh, um, I guess we can see here. So this one is flow, and this one is the the guster. Yeah, guster here. So cool new banner banner patterns, um, and yeah, you can do a lot more custom things with that. That um, now you probably know, but we got a new mob. This is the breeze. And he will spawn in the uh, the trial chambers here, and so yeah, he looks resembles a lot of the the blaze, um, but like more of a like a wind instead of fire element there. Uh, and he will drop these breeze rods. Oh, I forgot to uh, see how many breeze rods that he'll drop. But he does drop these breeze rods, and you can go ahead. I'm just gonna, he's been kind of noisy <laughs> but he's got some cool like wind sounds and stuff you can take these and you can craft them into wind charges um these wind charges are actually extremely fun um oh and then you can also you combine that with the heavy core to get the new weapon the mace uh which is really cool uh does quite a lot of damage and uh it's got some cool properties to it the wind charge uh, before we move on here, uh, you can throw these as projectiles, and you can use them to kind of kind of get yourself a little boost up into the air, uh, which which I think is is really cool. And I think there's also an achievement you get for using one of these, so. Um, yeah, and uh, we can get the mace, and we can also enchant the mace with the new enchants. So we can get two of these from, we got density, which increases the damage of the of the mace uh, based on how many blocks you fall. And then we got breach, which negates the amount of armor. Uh, so you can, I think, up to like 60%. Um, it, it doesn't apply, like, it basically ignores 60% of armor protection, which is pretty cool, but you can't have these on at the same time. Uh, so these are exclusive. You can only, they're like fortune and, uh, um, fortune and silk touch or, uh, infinity and mending. So you can only have one on your mace. And then you got wind burst, which can only be found in the trial chamber, uh, yeah, so you you can't get this from an enchanting table, but this is really cool. Uh, you can uh, can actually do uh, wind burst level three. I, I think that was the level. Yeah, and then we can hit a. Uh, this is how this worked. Yeah, so <laughs> if you can kind of attack an uh, entity from above and are able to hit them before you hit the ground, it gives you a bit of a 
boost there. So that one's really fun. That one's kind of also like the wind charge there. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Um, and I did, looks like they only drop one breeze rod. So, um, which is from killing them there. Um, we got new potions. These are really cool. Um, we got the wind charge potion, uh, the weaving potion, the oozing potion, and the infested potion. And these come in all the variants, even the tipped arrows. And how you uh, brew them is you take an awkward potion and you throw in a breeze rod, a cobweb, slime block, or stone block. And what these will do uh, is that when a mob, like a, um, let's just get like a pig here. Get some of these, we'll take the splash potions here. Okay. So, wind burst, when it applied to a mob, it's even affects me and doesn't last very long, but... If a mob dies within the amount of time that it ha that it has that potion effect, it will it, it did that whole like wind burst thing. So uh, and then again we can do that with uh, weaving and it'll do the same thing, but with the uh, cobwebs. It'll place cobwebs around. Which I think is really cool, and I think that's an ability that I think the spiders should just have on their own. I don't think there should be a potion for it. Um, and then for the oozing, um, this is kind of the same thing that the slimes already do, and it doesn't affect the slimes. But when a mob dies, it does spawn slimes. So... Um, and yeah, these don't these don't affect the slimes um, because that is already their natural ability here. So you're gonna get them anyway. <laughs> so uh, and then the last one, um, infestation. So when you attack a mob, it's got a chance of summoning a silverfish. And it is damaged. Let's see if we can get that. One. No, I didn't do it that time. Um, I think I can just do like a, can I just do a snowball? <laughs> I think it actually has to take damage. Yeah, there we go. So we got some silverfish to spawn after attacking the pig a couple times. So that is uh, pretty likely to happen there. Anyway, moving on. We have the new pottery sherds um, that you can find in the trial chamber. And this is what they look like. Not really much to say there, but uh, pretty cool little extra things. We got the new armor trims, too, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, again, really cool. And you could... This one gives me, like... Um, it, get, it makes me think, like, the Aether. Uh, which is really cool. And I wonder if this was designed by... I forget his name, but he's he used to work on the Aether mod. He works at Mojang now. Um, and then the bolt trim as well. Uh, all really cool. Um, yeah, I'd like to see more of these. There are probably going to be so many more of these added in each update. So um, we got a new mob here as well that you can find in the swamp uh, or in the trial chamber there um, called the Bogged. And it's a skeleton variant. Uh, and you can get poison arrows. It shoots poison arrows. You can get poison arrows as long as as well as the uh, bones and the arrows that a normal skeleton drops. But with this, uh, 
is unique about this mob is it has you can drops mushrooms if you use shears on it. Um, so it can drop up to two different mushrooms, and you see it's they're gone from its head. Uh, so we can just kind of see it's got the the brown mushrooms and the uh, mushrooms there. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I like to see the variants of the mobs there. I think that's that's really cool. I think uh, zombies and skeletons should all have. Um, variants for every biome um or at least more of the drastic changing ones <laughs> uh so i yeah i think that'd be cool um next up we have all the new advancements so i'm just going to kind of go through these and then read off like what they are but there's quite a few of them um let me clear <laughs> uh we got the trial of Minecraft Trials Edition. Step foot in a trial chamber. Oh, I probably got this one earlier when we went down there. Um, crafting, uh, crafters, crafting crafters. Uh, be near a crafter when it crafts a crafter. Uh, lots of crafting and crafters. Uh, we next one up is lighten up. Uh, scrape copper bulb with an axe to make it brighter. Uh, who needs rockets? Uh, this one says launch yourself upwards eight blocks with wind charge. And then we got under lock and key. Unlock a vault with a trial key. Uh, revolting. Unlock an ominous vault with an ominous trial key. Blow back. Kill a breeze. Uh, with a deflected breeze shot to wind tr wind charge, so they're kind of like gas. You can they shoot the wind charges at you, and then you can just hit them back. And so it's kind of like um, return to sender, um, but it's a little bit harder because the breeze kind of jumps all over the place. So, um, and then we got over overkill, and you need to deal fifty hearts of damage in a single hit using the mace. So you gotta fall from really high up and then hit down uh, and kill, uh, or at least do fifty hearts damage. So you could do, but, but you can you could kill like an iron golem or a warden or even a wither uh, with uh, just from falling. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we also got three new music discs. I think I've actually listened to all of these, so we're gonna give these a listen here. So, Uh, I realize these are going to be long and, but, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that one was really, really, uh, cool. Uh, I really like that one. Uh, let's listen to these other two for a little bit.
Okay, that one sounds a lot like a, just like a music box. Oh, I see. So they're the same song. Those are really cool. I actually really, really like those. Um, and I, I'm gonna go collect these. That's like I like to just listen to that. But uh, we don't have time to listen to the whole thing. Um, I also realized I completely skipped over all the new paintings. Um, but we got a bunch of new paintings here. We'll just kind of go through them. I'm not gonna tell you the names of them or anything. Um, because there, there's a lot of them. And you can go look them up if you really, really want to. Um, but yeah, lots of new paintings. Uh, I My favorite one has got to be that one down there. The old uh, texture pack uh, PNG file. But uh, yeah, cool new paintings. Uh, there's, is there 20 of them? Yeah, uh, there's quite a few. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Next thing, uh, we're going to get a little more technical changes. There are so many technical changes and with the, the data packs and stuff, and I love it. I don't understand everything that's going on, but I'm going to cover what I think are like the highlights of it. There's so much more, so if you really, really want to get dive deep into it uh you really just uh gotta go on the wiki check everything out um maybe watch uh i know slice slime uh makes like in-depth videos of like snapshots and he goes all in depth in the uh data pack stuff so um but we have data pack changes we have data driven objects uh, so this includes things like the music discs, the enchantments, uh, paintings, and banners. And then we also have attributes, which are affect like items and entities. Um, so, yeah. For, so like the music discs, um, they, you can create, you can now create your own data-driven music disc. So you can, uh, you can take music disc and use a data pack to tell it to play a sound file and then i think you can find that sound file in a resource pack so you get you can have your own custom music without actually having to uh take away one of the existing music discs i don't even know where i don't even know where it's at in the inventory but um yeah so that's really cool uh, and you, you know, lots of customization there. Um, same thing kind of goes for all these other things. Enchantments are now data driven. Uh, you can now change the way enchantments work through the data pack as well as add your own enchantments, which is huge. And we're definitely going to see a lot of that in the community. People making custom enchantments, uh, you can define how many levels, where it appears in the world. Uh, if it, you can get it in an enchanting table, uh, all all that stuff. Uh, it's really cool. I've seen some cool things already. I have some ideas of my own, but I don't know if I'm. I don't know how well I would be able to execute that. Um, but that's cool. Banners and paintings are also data driven, so a lot like the music disc. You can use a data pack to define the uh, type of painting or banner pattern and then use a resource pack to put the image into the game. So you can have your own custom uh, banner types or banner patterns and own, and your custom paid paintings. So that I think that's really cool. It adds for a lot of customizability 
and especially if you're on a server and you can have like your own custom stuff it just it makes it it makes it so you can make very unique things and i really like that customizability um entity attributes uh so you can now change like there's a slash attribute um command so i can change like my um uh i thought it was just my size but uh what is it called um, but you can like change all of these certain things. Oh, it's scale, uh, base set, and I can set my scale to four and make myself gigantic. And this applies to everything. And like, there's a whole list of things that you can change here. So, yeah, max absorption, max health, oxygen bonus, uh, full damage multiplier, follow range. Uh, knockback resistance, uh, step height, water movement efficiency, like just all this stuff that you can change. And it's awesome. I want to change my uh, self back to uh, default here. <laughs> and uh, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do with that. And then you can also do some pretty cool stuff with the item attributes. So you can now take an item and using commands and stuff, you can define the durability. You can set a diamond sword to have like 10 durability if you want. You can set it to have like 900,000 durability. I don't know if it goes that high, but you can like change the durability. You can uh, change if an item is edible or not. So if you can if it's a food like normally you can just eat it you can apply that to any item or block in the game now and so you could eat diamonds if you really want to um using that tag uh you can also do the the names oh, oh i guess i didn't uh <laughs> do that one correctly i also clicked on the wrong book um but yeah you can set like its name uh, so like, even though this is a bone, uh, unlike you can, you can rename it in like an anvil, but you can actually set the name. So even if it's renamed in an anvil, it still has that default name on there, uh, which I think is really cool. It adds for a lot of customizability. Data pack creators are going to go nuts with all this stuff. So, um, this book, I don't know what happened to it. But um, I had server changes in here. So servers can now provide server links. Uh, so when you hit pause, you will find a um, button here that says server links. And you can have a whole list of buttons that take you different places, uh, depending on what the server sets them to. So for instance, you can set your Discord or your YouTube channel or it whatever into that uh yeah in, into that menu so that's pretty cool you can also customize crash report information um i'm not entirely sure how that all works but uh basically you when you crash you can send uh information to the player giving them a little more definition as why you they they crashed so um, I'll, I'll have to look into that on my own uh, because I, I have hosted servers um, quite a bit and uh, I really uh, am, am really interested about the administration side of that so that's really really cool so if you're an admin if you're a server admin and that sounds interesting to you go check that out um, changes with the portals there's new portal changes where you can now take oh, oh come on this horse okay <laughs> you can take any entity this doesn't just apply to horses but any entity can go through a portal while riding on another entity so i can ride my horse through the portal um also, while you are riding an entity, you instantly go through the portal. So you can be riding in a minecart 
It'll go through the portal. It doesn't have to load. It'll keep all its momentum and keep going on to the next track. Um, this also applies to ender pearls. So if you throw an ender pearl through the portal, it'll teleport you through the portal, which is awesome because you can now have uh, stasis chambers that teleport you between dimensions, which I think is really cool. Is the that's awesome. Um, and oh, uh, another thing that I forgot um, to do to set up a thing for, uh, but we're going to go over it here real quickly. But uh, you can now lead boats. So we can now connect these together. Kind of. But you can lead boats. And I believe this has been a thing in Bedrock Edition for a while. But uh, it's... Uh, Oh, let's go over here. It's now in Java Edition. Uh, this actually makes things a lot easier when, like, you can have, like, a uh, a chest. Like, a bunch of chests, and you can easily just go through, put all your stuff in here, and just go and lead them all. Oh, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that one. And then just go travel across an ocean with all your inventory. <laughs> like, that's insane. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I think you can even, like, yeah, they'll, they don't, they're not uh, limited to just being in the water either. So you can, uh, oh, 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 I need to unhook these <laughs> yeah they get 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 unhooked please what are we still hooked on this one that one. there we go <laughs> so cool feature love it uh yeah and the last thing that I have to show you guys is with the witch. Um, there was a change uh, to do with the witches. They used to drop zero to two redstone on death. And as you can see, I got six redstone there. It's now you get four to eight redstone um, on, on death. So that's really cool. Makes your witch farms a lot more efficient. Um, and I'm a little surprised that that is a change that they decided to make um, to help with uh, farms. So, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of changes are to prevent farms like that, but uh, this one is uh, one that helps. So I think that's, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I believe that is everything to cover in the latest 1.21. I was going to 1.20.1, but that's not right. It's 1.21, and there's there's a lot of stuff. I didn't even cover all of the under the hood stuff, the bugs that have been fixed. But there are a lot of bugs. There's a lot of new data pack stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention MBT tags are not a thing anymore. They're using a new components tag thing. So just there's there's a lot of cool new stuff but it also breaks a lot of old stuff so yeah be aware when you're uh going out and using data packs and things because things may not work the way that you think that they do um but with these big changes you know they're adding a lot more features so it's very very welcome and um but yeah i um Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Uh, it helps me out ever so much. Uh, if you want more Minecraft content and like to see gameplay of other games like Terraria, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you want to catch me live on Twitch, which I am right now, uh, go to twitch.tv slash lanes of gaming and uh, follow me and then you'll know when I when I go live, uh, I'm going to try and get it on a schedule. So hopefully, uh, yeah, everything 
goes according to plan there and I'll be able to consistently stream and everything. So, uh, um, looking, looking forward to that. Um, there's a lot in this update and I am excited to get my hands on all this, uh, and when I update my worlds and everything. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.